My name is Gwen Reese. I'm a fifth generation descendant of the Sugar Line community. It's located a few miles south of Poosville, Maryland. Together with my cousin, Suzanne Johnson, we run the Sugar Line Ethno History Project. This is the source and purpose of our work, St. Paul Community Church. Our mission is to document the African-American community that called Sugar Land home for generations. This church, as well as our growing collection of stories, artifacts, and documents, help illustrate the African-American experience from slavery to the present day. After emancipation in 1864, Sugar Land grew into one of the largest black communities in northwestern Montgomery County. At its height, more than 40 families owned over 200 acres of land here. The households would come together as one big extended family, and they always said if there was a little extra land, they had to grow something on it because their goal was to be self-sufficient. By the beginning of the 20th century, Sugar Land had a school, a post office, a community hall, a store, and a town band. And of course, we had our beautiful church, which was built in 1893. It was the cornerstone of the community, and it's where we still meet to preserve and share our history. Today, only a few descendants live nearby but we still have a strong emotional and spiritual bond to this land. At reunions and Heritage Day events, many members of our big extended family come back to explore and reclaim their past. We have resources to help them rediscover their roots. We also offer tours of the church and cemetery for anyone who wants to learn more about the history here. Recently, we published a book to share the achievements of our foreparents with the world. We're grateful to them, and we honor their legacy of faith and family. No matter who you are or where you're from, we believe the story of Sugarland has the power to teach and inspire. You can learn more about what we do by visiting our website at sugarlandproject.org.